Hello guys! You might want to transfer your files, folders, or data from your Windows PC to a MacBook. We will do this over Wi-Fi or wirelessly. It doesn't matter if it is a laptop or desktop, as long as we transfer everything. In our case, we will be using Windows 10 here and a MacBook, M1, or Intel, doesn't matter. Let's begin. Open your MacBook and go to System Settings. I do that by Command Space and typing System Settings. And then I press Enter. And in the System Settings, go to the search bar and type Sharing. Now when you're there, just click this icon, Sharing, and you will see here File Sharing. Just turn it on and click this icon beside it. After you click it, this is will be the dialog that you need to add a shared folder. So let's create a new folder in the, our desktop and let's name it shared folder. Okay. Now, inside the shared folder, let's just add a new folder so that we can test it later. This is my folder in Mac. So we can see this if it's working later. Now, once you create this share folder, just add it in the list of folders. Now click that from the desktop and click add. You will see that share folder, this will be now where you will find your system uh, files, folders, or data. Now this user is the one who can access this folder. Make sure to make it read and write. And here, this is very important. Click these options. This will be first unchecked because this will be the uh, Windows password for your Windows machine. MacBook will just need this so you can connect here. So click this and type your Windows password. Once you store it here, your Windows can now connect to this MacBook machine and then press done. Then final thing that we can do is that you need to take note of this IP address of this MacBook because we will need it later. We will type this in the Windows machine so you can access the shared folder here. Once everything's done, let's click done. And now let's go to our Windows machine. Hello guys, now we're back in our Windows machine. Just open any folder and remember that IP address of the MacBook. Now we need to type it here in the address bar. And you type it like this. You make two slash and then type the IP address, the one that we wrote down and remembered. And when you press enter, Windows will ask for your credentials. Now what you need to do is type the username that you saved there in the MacBook, okay? Now let's go to the, this is my username. Now let's, uh, th this is the create, th this is my home folder on that MacBook. This shared folder is the one that we created. So double click it and let's see. As you can see, the name of the fo folder is, this is my folder in Mac. This is the one that we created in the, MacBook. So now you can put anything, any files here and you can access it in the MacBook or if you put files in the MacBook, you can access it in the Windows. I hope this helps you and just hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this. I will be posting uh, quite constantly so that you will be stay updated with the uh, with the computer problems or computer questions that you have. Thanks for watching. Bye.